assumptions. So it's week three of my January resolutions. Week one was being above reproach in my speech. Week two was not taking things personally. And week three is never assume. Assuming means presuming something is true without factual evidence or hard proof. This one's tough, to be honest with you. I think for me, I made a lot of assumptions before becoming a Christian, so I assumed that, you know, God doesn't care if you lie or like steal a chocolate bar, it's not a big deal. But if you murder someone, I mean, you're gonna hell. So I kind of had it in my mind, well, you know, there's little white lies, God doesn't really care, it's not a big deal. But then there's really serious like sin that's gonna get you huge trouble. But then I'd be like, well, I'm a good person though. I mean, you know, I, I'm a pretty good person. Like I think like if I'm, if I die, I'll go to heaven. Right. I mean, right. And I'll never forget studying the Bible for the first time and just going through scriptures. I never really read the Bible. I was a little intimidated by it because it's like, a, you know, it's a lot of pages. Them pages are thin. There's a lot of writing on it. I mean, a lot of it I don't understand. Like Old Testament, what? And I started reading the Bible for the first time and I realized, wow, the assumptions that I had about God, about church, about Jesus, about sin and like how a follower of Christ should behave, like what's a Christian? I'm like, oh, you know, it's just somebody who believes in Jesus. What's a disciple? Oh, that's like a crazy person that like takes it way too far. You know, these are my assumptions that I had, you know, like, oh, I mean, I'm not that extra, okay? Like I love the Lord, but I'm not gonna be extra, like disciple extra. I mean, that's extra. And then I read the Bible and I was like, wow, discipleship is Christianity. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. I didn't get the memo because <laughs> I didn't read the memo. <laughs> the memo was sitting in my living room for years. But finally getting to know what Jesus asks of his followers, I was like, wow, I mean, this is a whole new world right here. And as I slowly started to change, more and more of the assumptions that I had started to drift away. But even as a Christian now, I, I can still assume things sometimes. I can assume, oh, well, you know, I didn't have that great of a time in my Bible this morning, or I didn't, you know, reach out to somebody when I could have and share with them about God. I mean, it's not right, but it's not like a big deal. You know, even those thoughts can start to sneak into my mind sometimes. And really the root of it is either, wow, I didn't want to share or I was tired or it's excuses. And my excuses, how I'm feeling, I rationalize it into assuming that God doesn't really care. This January, I really want to have firm convictions on not assuming, not assuming things about God, not assuming things about even myself. I can say things to myself that tear me down and assume that I can't do this or I can't do that. For the longest while, I assumed I could never do a vlog because I was too scared, I was too chicken, I didn't want people, you know, pushing back or I didn't want people to persecute or to be mean, all this kind of stuff. And so I decided, no, I'm gonna do it because it's not about me. I wanna share God's word with people who maybe can relate. They maybe go through some of the things that I go through or that I've gone through and maybe they're asking themselves, is the Bible really true? Like, does it really work? I hear so much about it, but then I see so many bad examples. Like, why even bother? There are other times when I can assume that I have time. That, oh, you know, I'm gonna live to a ripe old age and, you know, die an old lady. It's an assumption. It's not based on any factual evidence. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna live to 90. But if I assume that I have all this time to live, I'll start taking things for granted and forget that every moment is precious. And this idea really reminds me of James 4, 13 to 15. In the scripture, James is saying, some of you guys think, ah, today we'll do this, tomorrow we're gonna do this, we're gonna buy some houses, we're gonna, I don't know, live it up, we'll carry on business. I mean, we'll just, you know, do all these things. We have time. And James goes, you don't even know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You may die tonight. You don't know how much time you have. Don't assume you have all this time to do all of these things, when in reality, there is no guarantee that you will. And he says, instead, you should say, God willing, if it's God's will, we will do this or that. And it's so true, and it's so helpful for me because it reminds me to live in the moment. Okay, Leanne, don't assume anything. Don't assume that the person that you didn't share your faith with, you're gonna get another chance to share your faith with them. 
what if they get hit by a car and they die? What if they're not right with God? Or, yeah, like, my husband, we've been married for 15 years. We've got tons of time. I don't know that. I've got to make every moment count. Every day has to be precious. Another scripture that helps me is in Proverbs 18.2, and it says, A fool finds no pleasure in understanding, but delights in airing his own opinions. And this scripture I really want to put into practice, because it's so easy to get into this mode of, well, my opinion is, and I think this, and I think that. Opinions are just that. They're just opinions. They're not necessarily fact. And for me, this month, I don't want to have conversations that are just opinion-based. I don't want it to be about what Leanne said X, Y, Z. I want it to be based on the truth, which is the Bible. Otherwise, it's a conversation that goes on and on without an end. It's like the song that never ends. The, the debate of opinions. Whose opinion is better? And this year, I want to go light on the assumptions and really go off of what the Bible says and let that be my truth and what I fight for. Not fighting necessarily for my opinions, but fighting for what God says. If this video has helped you, please feel free to like it. Please feel free to share it. If you want a deeper Bible study, Let's get together. Let's study the Bible. Come out to church with me. Let's get unified. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.